purpose of this video is to cover some more anatomical terminology, beginning with the planes and sections of the body. And these are terms that are used to describe the way that the body is cut or the way that a model is created to represent the body being cut in a particular way. So a sagittal plane or section is one made with a vertical cut that makes left and right pieces, such as this model here that shows the inside deep structures inside the head. Um, this is a sagittal plane or section. A frontal or coronal planar section is one where the model is representing something being cut vertically, making front and back pieces. Frontal or coronal plane, this model of the lungs is showing a frontal section of the lungs. Uh, and then the last planar section we talk about is a transverse or horizontal plane or section. And the way that this skull comes open is a transverse cut through the skull. So that is a horizontal cut that makes top and bottom pieces so that we can look inside the skull or inside the lungs or inside the head or anywhere else. Okay, then we come to body cavities. And the torso and head are organized in compartments. The first um, of those compartments, the largest of those compartments are the front versus the back. So using directional terms, the dorsal body cavity is closer to the back side of the body. This is the compartment inside the skull and inside the spine. So this model is of the spine and the rib cage in front of it. Um, but together, the compartments inside the head, the skull, and the spine make up the dorsal body cavity. And within the dorsal body cavity, we can define more specific spaces. Um, that is what the indentation in the lab guide means, is that the cranial cavity and the vertebral cavity are smaller parts within the dorsal body cavity. So the cranial cavity is the space inside the skull where the brain is housed. The vertebral cavity, or you can call it the vertebral canal, is the space inside the spine where the spinal cord is housed. And there's a metal rod going through that part of this model. In the front part of the torso, basically in front of the spine, is the ventral body cavity. So the ventral body cavity, this particular model opens to show the entire ventral body cavity and all of the organs that are contained within it. Everything in front of the spine here is part of the ventral body cavity. It's gonna include the lungs, the heart, um, the liver, stomach, intestines, reproductive organs, all of that. Um, and it can be further broken down into specific spaces. The thoracic cavity is everything above the diaphragm. The diaphragm is this rainbow shaped muscle here that helps us breathe and also separates the thoracic cavity from the abdominal pelvic cavity below. So thoracic cavity in the chest is also going to contain the heart and the lungs. Specifically surrounding the lungs and the heart, there are spaces that are filled with a lubricating fluid, um, which are called serous cavities in general, um, but specifically surrounding the lungs is the pleural cavities, are the pleural cavities on the right and the left hand sides, and then surrounding the heart is the pericardial cavity, and those cavities are filled with fluid that's positioned around the organ. Um, then we have the abdominal pelvic cavity below and the diaphragm that separates the thoracic cavity above from the abdominal pelvic cavity below. Then we can talk about anatomical landmarks. Um, and these are regions of the body. They are terms that are going to come up again when we talk about specific um, structures, organs, features of the body. A chromial means shoulder, axillary means armpit, 
brachial refers to the arm above the elbow, proximal to the elbow. Uh, antibrachial refers to the forearm, which is distal to the elbow, but proximal to the wrist. This is the antibrachial region. Olecranal refers to the back of the elbow that you might set on the table. Anticubital refers to the crook of the elbow here where you might get blood drawn. Gluteal refers to the buttocks. Femoral refers to the entire thigh. Popliteal refers to the back of the knee. Calcaneal refers to the heel, where your calcaneus bone is. Plantar refers to the bottom of the foot. Cephalic refers to the head. Cervical refers to the neck. Thoracic, again, refers to the chest. Abdominal refers to the abdomen. That is the last term.